so like adventure for for me. The solo camp down at Dumfries and Galloway. And the first place I'm going to head to is Classical Central. Get the train to air. nervous about this. So the plan is to head south on the NCNR 7 into, I'm going to head into Dumfries and Galloway Park, Park? Dumfries and Galloway Nature Reserve, I don't know if it's a nature reserve, a park, whatever. I need to get to the coast here. The cycle route was a line coast. I had to try my hardest to get a puncture before I even set off. But it's a cracking day. It's going to get cold tonight. Going to get to zero degrees Celsius. But I've got plenty of, plenty of layers. It's just um, finding somewhere to camp because I've not really done a recce. I'm just going to see where I am half an hour, an hour before sunset. Camp somewhere nice. A hey, great place to start. I need to do it. Part of me wants to put the tent up here. Adventure. So I was a bit nervous, but I think this sea has just calmed me down. Very therapeutic. It's good. Doing foot primary. The plan is to follow this to Mabel and then beyond. Nice breeze coming off of the water there. Too busy looking at the scenery to keep my eye out for the markers. Pretty sure I'm still on the rip. I think I was travelling light until I hit this wee slope. So I've got tent, sleeping bag, inflatable mat and a, a wee jet boil style stove and a couple of meals to um, rehydrate and snacks galore and coffee. Keep thinking, I can't believe I've got all this. I managed to get all this on my bike but need out. No doubt I'll get to five o'clock and realise I've forgot something vital. Tell you what, ten mile an hour. <laughs> this time of year, you've always got to watch for thorns with these hedges getting uh, cut. These things just go straight in. Oh, I've been out cycling with folk that have had three punctures 
and the one here it's all, built, it's all because of him I think the annoying thing is, is it's always in the winter when it's absolutely freezing so it's harder to fix the puncture hopefully you don't need to do that to the test today that's Craig Tara used to be Butlins quite a few happy memories there going there with down there with my school and the play scheme and I know a few people that have been down there and rented the caravan said it's really good there was much to do mind you but nice that's the end of my luxury pavement let's do a wee bit of road now put your life in other people's hands I'll just hang about in this shade that's good. Should be able to put a wee path at the side of this. So strands. Well, it's not that long. Just a wee bit further along the road. That's about what a quarter of a mile. Between a quarter and a half. And seven miles to Nebo. This is going to be seven hilly miles. Sweaty. Straight into a big hill. This is going to be a prominent feature of this cycle. Somebody's twisted a sign around and pointed it in the wrong direction. This is the steepest hill ever. Something else. Aye, very good. No need for this hill, surely. Well, at least I've not seen any cars yet. Oh, come on. It's a nice view up there. I'm gonna go by a truck point and not go up stand at it. Holy moly. Good times, good times. That moment a sheep looks at you and you think, it's going to charge. I'm so glad to see that number seven. I honestly thought I was going the wrong way for a minute. I thought somebody had turned a sign around having a laugh with me the size of that hill there you go take the time with all this extra weight I thought Another hill. This is fun. God, I've got a lot of calories. Wait me. Hey, not a single sign. Nice. I must have took a wrong turning. 
the miles of this nonsense. And the signs down there. Missed something somewhere. Anyway, talking to myself, but I've obviously took a wrong turn in somewhere. I'm still going the right direction, but I'd rather not be on the road right now. Quite annoying. Still the cycle network signage. Quite worrying how easily I got lost there. And I'm con constantly studying maps. That's a funny one. Right, right, right. Hey, right, nice one. Is that a really good shot? Line. So the first thing I'm going to do is check to see when the last train is. Check to see when the last train is tonight and the first train is tomorrow. I'm also looking for Cycle Network. Let's go by the train station so I must be close. Yet again, find myself on a stretch of road. I've not seen um, a sticker, a signpost, or anything. So I'm going to just double check. Nothing. Oh, there's something there. Right, well, that's. Um, looks like these posts have been built in. That says to me I'm on the right track. Somebody's crashed into that. Just outside Mabel. At least I'm on the right road. Oh, here looks like a good stretch of road to be getting on to. And there's world famous Daldoff Farm. Genuinely snapping. Love that sound. It's the sort of noise you might hear when you're we camp over me. I'm not too fussed about that. Could have stopped and uh, waited for him to pass, but <clears throat> coughing because I swallowed a fly a minute ago. Could have stopped and waited for him to pass, but it would been harder for me to get back on and build up momentum on this hill. Hills! All I'm doing is getting up and down hills. This is a workout. And I've only got that amount of water because I didn't have a seat in the morning. Getting that balance of uh, knowing whether when you're at the last shop and drink up and fill, fill your bottles. For me it was in Mabel. That was about seven, eight, nine. Very hilly miles back. On we go. Keep pushing. I'll find somewhere quiet in about an hour. What gravestones? I shout Tina get the food. Hey, we've gone for quite a few miles now. Let's have a wee look. I'll not do any more than 15. Strava's got me in a segment. I don't care about that. On 17 miles, like 20 and 20. <sighs> Will do me. How does it? Oh, I thought that would have been a nice place up there, but it looks like somebody's dumped stuff. Put something that the 
Bordish do folks have um, stashed away bags of truckies or something. The scenery is phenomenal. I've got to get to High Point some, somewhere. High Point with yours, please. It's a good spot up there. Sheep path going up to it. Just try to think if it's going to be spoiled by light. That's it. That's it. Got 4G then, I'm going for it. Oh, 4G we one bar. Don't want anybody to see you get in. It's wet. Look at that mound I want to try and go. So can I think right my feet. Two bars. Forty. Don't think I'm going to get much of the dark sky here because I can see air away over there in the distance, and I can see Mabel. I can see the wind farm at um, <coughs> back of Eaglesham. I can actually see Ben Lomond. Away, away, away! If you look beyond the water there. Aye, so quite happy about this. I don't know if you can hear that noise, but that's going to freak the utter. It's going to freak me out tonight. Fun and games. Hey, let's get a tent set up. Hey, well, my feet are absolutely soaked. There's a road down there, so I'm kind of wary that. People can see me for the road. You'll see the tent once it's set up, but it's just a matter of how much it gets used during the night. But what I'll do is I'll get this tent set up first and foremost. Give you an idea of my surroundings. And I'm up the top of a wee hill. Let's go. That's a tent set up. Probably could be a bit better. Stupidly at the top of your hill. So I got this uh, inflatable mattress inflator. So I'm going to test this out tonight. So that's me set up camp. Um, just waiting on the sun going down. It's going to be um, freezing tonight. I've set the tent up in a silly place, but I just like the view too much. So I will be cold with this breeze coming in But I like this vantage point People for the main road can see me I can see the, the, the wee single track road there Can see me My feet get absolutely soaked on the way up there right, Let's put this drone up
think I look too comfortable. And I'm not, but I want to keep my feet inside the tent and I want to make myself something to eat. So I'll have this have a cup of tea as well. I feel bad because I chased a fox away. It's probably this is its haunt. In boil water without setting a tent on fire. <laughs> as I can get. There we go. So I'm going to have this vegetable chipotle chili with rice from Summit to Eat. And I'm also going to have a cup of ginger tea. Filled this up with 300 mils of water. I don't know why I'm telling you that, as if you don't know how to make a meal. I am shivering because I'm still a wee bit cold. I'm pretty sure I've grabbed a tea bag. And there it's there. My problem is I've got a teaspoon, so I'll be eating this with a teaspoon. I've got another emergency meal for later on, in case I need it. It's like mushy paste. That's alright. Mm -hmm. Not that I want to be exposed to the elements all night. Hey, that's spicy, it's really spicy. It was only a um, vegetarian thing that they had. This must be about the most awkward position I've ever had a meal in. So it's really cold in here. Um, I think it's going to be zero at about four in the morning, but it's just this breeze. It's just blowing the cold air. I did choose to camp at a topia wee hill, so I expected this. But I'm just going to cosy in and try and get a wee bit of sleep. It's quite, it's, it's reasonable in the sleeping bag, but it's still slightly uncomfortable. But what'd you expect? It's still February, and um, see if I can get a sleep and then. See you in the morning. Didn't realise that my shoe covers had been lying outside, so they're covered in frost. At least my water's not frozen. Hey, I'll try and get another wee cup layers. Oh God. See if I can squeeze coffee out. Morning. I've had my coffee. It's now, uh, let's see, seven o'clock. I know there's a train at Mabel at five past eight. I'll see if I can catch that. I feel I'm not too fussed because I can, I'll be moving, I'll be warmer, but it's so cold. <laughs> Good night though. I woke up a few times, kind of just trying to get position, feeling the cold. I think every time it dropped a degree, I could actually feel it getting colder. And that kind of woke me up. It sounds like a lot of nonsense. But I'll enjoy the sunrise and then get myself a moving. I can't really sit up right in this um, tent, so... Oh, 
Oh, once I get moving, I'll be fine. But this has been an adventure so far. I'm putting these shoes on and then I'm not taking them off again because they're wet. And I'm going to get all this stuff out of here, take the tent down after admiring uh, sunrise. And I'm going to have to keep moving because it's bloody cold. Wet socks. Look at this. Covered in frost. That's hilarious. I thought I heard a or something. Still up. Please, I'm oh, still up. I could hear a hissing noise. It's first looking back in there. This is what it's all about. Well, it's not really, but I like to say that. I keep myself evergreen. <sighs> Easy to pack when you're in the house. Then you get it all the way. It's good. Yeah, I think it's this next. Then that. Wow! Some rubbish. Probably some safety warning about a tent. Don't use it in February. Frozen solid, ice on the inside. Do that. And you get, and you get. That one's the same. Be cleaned up at a later time. I've never put a tent down in conditions like this, but I'm getting there. It'll all go in. Right, well, I just battled for about an hour. <laughs> About 20 minutes trying to get this tent packed away, but I'll need to sort it out when I get home because there's a lot of frost in there. Toes are freezing. I'll put my rubbish there and I can pop back in a bin when I see one. Left nothing else behind. I know it's just um, trying to avoid puddles and marsh on the way yet. One thing's for sure, I don't think I'll ever... I don't think I'll do it in the winter next time. I think I'll, next time I do this, I'll wait until it's a bit, a bit warmer, a bit drier. If I do make a video of this, which I probably will, and if I put it on YouTube, I'll apologise just now because I've no put the sort of shorts in that I usually put in my videos but I think this was all about the experience for me and uh, I knew I had to kind of <laughs> go a fair distance to get to a quiet place to camp and I didn't have much time so I apologise just now for <laughs> no stopping and setting up shots so. but there'll be other videos like that I must admit I got a better sleep than what I thought I was going to get last night much better I did wake up about 25 times <laughs> but when I did sleep I got into a deep sleep So happy to get back on the road here. Knee puddles, knee puddles. That was my luck, straight into a puddle in my last step. I'm so happy to be on this road. That was a struggle. Hey, where's my... That'll do. No blocking the brakes. Oh, back on the road. That was great. Ah, it doesn't look like much. 
and it wasn't the kind of hill there, there's another wee peak a wee bit further up that I was on, keeps you a wee bit away from the road, those emergency services kind of get to you, right let's go. I don't even know how long it's going to take me to get to the train station, but... That one? And the, the bus is connecting with the arrival of the train, so we don't have to wait that long. Mate, thanks. Running between Cowinning and Paisley, so I've um, decided instead of waiting to take it to what I'm not going to go on a bus for the I'm going to head towards Lock Lennock. It is well because if you get to Lock Lennock, it's probably one of the hilliest. Getting my work 
circuits this weekend, that's for sure. Let's see if I can beat this guy. Hey, baller. I'm doing it. Love the scenery about here. My honey is at Loch Winnock. So, she's gonna head to Coburnie and get me there because I'm four miles away from there. Right, Chief. Right, we're gonna meet at Glen Garner train station. Which I don't even know what to think. That must be the train is taking all the lines for the work that's going on. And that's why the the trains are stopped. How cool is that? 